Well, if you need a comeback story at the Indianapolis 500, there is only one place to start. Three drivers dealt with three separate near fatal injuries, and this made they are all chasing down the same dream. Our Charlie Clifford has more. Last May, a shocker. James Hinchcliffe bumped out of the 500. Then in August, panic at Pocono. A serious spinal cord injury for Robert Wickens. A challenge their boss, Sam Schmidt, knows too well. This May, the three chase a 500 title together. This team's been through a lot, probably a lot more than any other team should have and, and how sure we've been around, but we come back stronger every time we get kicked down, so we're excited to be here this May and see what we can do. Oh boy, that's a, you know, there's a lot of things in life uh, that are pretty special, but they've, uh, you know, them and the entire team have come back from a lot of adversity over the last few years. One of the best parts about Robert Wicken's comeback is you see James Hinchcliffe's number five machine rolling out. They're keeping the six for Wickens. Whenever he gets back on track, that's his ride. And we know this May, the guy's been working his tail off trying to get this team ready for the 103rd Indianapolis 500. It means a lot to him. It's personal goals for him, but at the same time, it's crazy for us to get to see him here and, and see how well he's doing, see the progress, and still have a part of the team in such a big way. With Wickens coaching, Hinchcliffe's redemption is right in front of the five car. Hopefully we get the 500 for Hinch. I think that'd go a long way uh, to, uh, you know, completing the story. Things go right this May. Does that feel like a Disney script to you? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> the script is ready. Charlie Clifford, Wish TV News 8.